I didn't do any filming yesterday, but I did change the oil on the truck and trans fluid with both trans filters. First time I changed the internal. When switching over to transcend, everything seems good there. I'm gonna do some work for the family today, but before I do, I'm still in the light bar in the back. Amazing. For this time of year when it's pitch black at five o'clock, lets you keep going. Constantly blowing fuses. Another big thanks to Pat for letting me know uh, the glass tube fuse is the absolute wrong type to use in this environment. So let's take care of that. And when working on wiring, I don't ever like to disconnect anything because this way it's like a freaking workout, you know? Get that heart rate going, occasionally get that nice anaerobic little jolt. Just hope you're not grounded. Made it. I'll take care of the prettiness later. All right, let's go get to work. Right. You yeah, remember the parents' house? I'm gonna take down these two. Probably clean up some of that shit on the fence line. I was just up at uh, Arts Lawnmower Shop where I used to work though, picking up an uh, exhaust gasket for the 462. Scored. In the basement looking at their scrap pile and I bought my first Husqvarna. Yeah. Needs a new piston and cylinder, but 50 bucks? Fuck. That's a good running saw. So that's cool. I probably could have hinged that stem over, but uh, I don't think the parents would have liked the tree on their new bedroom. in there. guy rope on a floating anchor because I didn't really have anything to go to over there.
So I hung out with the family at dinner back home. It's getting late, but I'm back over there in the morning. I want to use this saw, so. So I guess that just bends and conforms. It's clearly. <laughs> Maybe I did go backwards, I didn't, I don't think so, I mean. The wire. Too far? I don't know, I'll play with it later. I kind of want to crack into this a little bit and see what uh, hidden treasures there are. And so I got some good news and some bad news. I don't know who the former owner was, <laughs> but I'm assuming a tree service. Bar's bent to fuck, but you can see it's had sprocket replaced. They didn't do a very good job. Those rivets are sticking up pretty high. But, I mean, that indicates they had some clue. All the ancillary stuff is in pretty rough shape. And the bluing on the crank. I mean, I don't know any tree service guys that just sit there brah, brah, and heat the shit out of the clutch to the point where it melts the oil drive. So they were getting no oil because this wasn't turning. It just didn't have this bolt on the chain break. I'm not really sure what this wire is for. The V system looks pretty intact. I mean, I guess overall, really, it's not horrible. You know, stuff like that, little stuff. But the good news is, new piston cylinder, I mean, is scored to shit. But the bottom end looks okay. Not a whole lot of play there. It doesn't appear to be straight gassed. You know, there's no bluing on the crank. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna have to split the case, which makes my day, cause I've never split a Husky. And don't really want to at this point. So this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be such an awesome saw. I can't believe I found it. And you guys probably knew what I had before I did. And I knew there was a serial break or something with the 372, but I didn't know what it was. I just knew I liked it. So I gave him 50 bucks for it. And it turns out the 372 Hansons I was using was the next torque or stratified or scavenging or whatever the fuck you want to call it engine and this is not X torque so this is like the nice one so I'm really looking forward to getting this saw going unfortunately it's not going to be right now I don't have a Husqvarna connection so I'm going to have to pay market price for everything and I don't really have money so it's going to have to be put on the back burner for a little bit but anyway it's getting late so have a good one, humans. Yeah, that's right, right? So that's advanced.